Hey guys, Ben here, and in this video I'm going to compare the Gear 360 2017 with the Xiaomi Mijia Mi Sphere. These are currently two of the best options in terms of consumer 360 cameras, and they both deliver an amazing result all around. So in this comparison, I'm gonna put them each in a few different situations. I was just on a shoot in Samoa, and I got some footage in a few different locations, and I'm gonna compare them side by side to see which camera does 360 video the best. So starting off with what you see in front of you, they're both looking excellent, they've both got nice dynamic range, the colours are looking nice and saturated, the shadows and the highlights are handled very well, shadows aren't too dark, highlights aren't too bright. Yes, you could probably point out some really tiny nuances where one is better than the other, but that's not what my comparisons are about. I like comparing the bigger things because Ultimately, to me, the smaller things don't matter as much. In terms of picture quality, there are similar resolutions. The Gear 360 is 4K, the Mi Sphere is 3.5K. I think they're both very acceptable in terms of resolution. The biggest thing that stands out to me in this scenario is the stitching autocorrect of the Gear 360 2017. If you look towards the bottom of the image, every time a car drives by, it tries to auto adjust. And this is a huge difference between the two. In my opinion, this is a huge flaw of the 2017 Gear 360. The Mi Sphere doesn't do it. You can't turn this off yet, and Samsung have not hinted at fixing this. So to me, that's a massive flaw that the Gear 360 has that the Mi Sphere doesn't. Now I'm going to turn both cameras towards the sun so the seam line is facing towards the horizon line. So we can see how each camera handles being faced towards and away from the sun. For those who weren't aware, facing the seam line directly towards the sun is the best way to avoid getting massive lens flares. And looking at how each of these cameras is handling the sun, I'm extremely impressed. Neither of them are really blowing out to the extreme. There's no lens flares, no red waves across the image. They're both doing an excellent job. Keep in mind that this shot was taken at sunset, so the lighting is really strong and contrasty, which really brings out a strong seam line down the middle of both images. This will happen regardless of the camera you use, so I wouldn't necessarily take this as a weakness of either of these cameras specifically. When I take them handheld, this is where the differences really start to show. While the Gear 360 2017 does have basic stabilization and it's better than the 2016 camera, the inbuilt 6-axis stabilization of the Mi Sphere shits all over the Samsung. I never thought I'd say that, but this technology is so amazing that you can bump the shit out of the camera and it doesn't really show. Only minor bumps are present. The Gear 360 seems really shaky in comparison, even though it's not that shaky, but when you put them side by side, the Mi Sphere wins hands down, end of story, no question. Let's take it to night time now, and I've got to say that pool was really cold, so if I look like a wimp, it's not my fault. I take the pain so you guys can have good comparison videos. On another note, looking at this footage, again, there is a massive difference between the two. The Gear 360 is showing visible grain, the Mi Sphere isn't. Interestingly, before the Mi Sphere showed a warmer overall look, whereas it's the opposite this time. And given what it was actually like at this location, the Mi Sphere is almost dead accurate. It wasn't really warm like the Gear 360 shows. That blue was a really dark blue and the lights were closer to white than yellow. If you watched the last episode of Vlogging 360 on my YouTube channel, you'll see that the Xiaomi won above almost all other cameras. It was equal first with the Theta, and the Gear 360 came equal last. So this has essentially been confirmed right here. So essentially when both cameras are stationary, when the lighting isn't too dark, and when the movement is minimal, these cameras are almost identical. However, the chances of those three things happening simultaneously are generally pretty low in most situations. From this comparison, the Mi Sphere wins in basically every situation. A mistake I see made too often is people seeing that one camera has a higher resolution than the other, and they think, therefore, that camera must be better. Well, I'm here to tell you, no, it's not. You need to have at least I would say 3K resolution to have a decent looking image, but there are many, many other factors that are more important than increased resolution, some of which I've already covered in this video. For example, I'd much rather have that amazing stabilization than having a little bit extra resolution. Another factor that doesn't really get considered enough is post-production and how you're going to handle the files 
from my experience, the 2017 Gear 360 has taken phenomenally long times to import, render, export, and edit. Even with 32 gigabytes of RAM, it takes forever. Having 3.5K resolution does make a significant difference in the post-production times, and I'm talking significant. It's much faster. So if you're considering a 4K 360 camera of any kind, you must factor in that it's going to take a long time to process and you need a really fast computer to keep up with it in order to not be waiting for days for your footage to render. In terms of price, the Gear 360 2017 is currently around $170, although that's changing all the time, and the Xiaomi is around the $300 mark. I'll put links to both of them down in the description to where you can find them the absolute cheapest, but really either of these will be an awesome investment. They'll both deliver a result that is better than the amount you pay, so I hope this video was helpful in helping you understand the strengths and weaknesses of each camera. It's my philosophy that spending a little bit of extra money to save you millions of headaches in the future is money well spent because ultimately that's time that you're buying and time you just can't get back, can you? Cool guys, well if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, we're on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter as well and I will release a review of the Xiaomi camera really soon, hopefully within the next week. So definitely stay tuned for that. Until next time, keep capturing your world in 360. This has been Ben Claremont, and I'll talk to you guys soon. We've got heaps of epic shit coming, so stay tuned for that. Bye.